Applying sunscreen is the least interesting routine for me. I know it might sound strange to you, but yeah, it is. I generally apply it only on sunny days as it's supposed to protect my skin from the sun. But yeah, please include sunscreen in your daily skincare routine. I'm planning on being strict with myself about it too. What I like about this sunscreen is that it is not only non-oily and non-greasy product, but it also acts as a primer when I apply it. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Product claims are 360 block sunscreen gel SPF 50 plus is specially designed for 360 photo protection. It protects from UVA, UVB, infrared radiation, meaning IR, blue light and atmospheric pol uh, pollutions. And this is full light protection in one sunscreen. To my experience i apply this gel evenly on my face and all exposed area of my body before like 20 30 minutes uh the exposure of the sun and i reapplied after every few hours just like any other sunscreen i massage it into my skin very gently and until it vanishes make sure to not go too close to your uh, like mouth or eyes some of the ingredients in it can irritate those eyes i mean my eye once it made me cry but what doesn't nowadays it feels like i even cry for sad puppy in a refrigerator ad so <laughs> moving on <laughs> see the difference here's a before and after sunscreen do you guys pick up that matte finish it gave me almost like a silky finish definitely a uh, oily skin friendly product if you ask me it feels light and doesn't feel like a layer over any product it's not greasy like other physical sunscreen in the market that i love loved but now this is my jam i mean i like especially for my swimming class or gym where there would be excessive sweating in the gym as well right so it's a water resistant and trust me it's water resistant it doesn't say if it's sweat proof or not but i feel like it does very good job at controlling that as well earlier i said that i use this as my primer what i mean was that i know this product doesn't uh, let any other product out or in my skincare product underneath are sealed and, and my makeup won't penetrate in my skin and fill up all my pores with all the makeup residue however if you use this one very frequently i feel like this uh, matte formula is probably because of the silicone in it however i don't read silicone in the ingredients but it can be something like that that i don't understand but it feels more like it it feels like it's filling up my pores the this sunscreen itself however i wash my face two three hours after applying it and if you have like a good aha bha product or chemical exfoliation sort of face wash that can you know really clean out your pores so you don't really have to worry about it uh filling up your pores if you're going to uh use a face wash properly i hear a lot of dermatologists recommended this sunscreen when you have like melanin or like a sunspot meaning it's not only prevents it also helps reduces those skin condition caused by sun damage i think that's a good green light for anyone who's looking for uh, dermatologically tasted and recommended product it retails for 849 rupees for 50 gram and i mean i know it sounds expensive compared to other drugstore uh, sunscreen in the market right now but this one has some extra benefits too that you might not find in those 300 rupees tubes i think the price is justified for this product and i also know it can be expensive so but it also has self life of 24 months i think it's reasonable you can get it from e mega mart and several other sites i'll make sure to link the product in the description down below this could be that it protects you from uva uvb i mean yeah you're like yeah man that's the minimum requirement of any sunscreen i know wait it also protects from blue light and ir and po pollution agents that's what it's called but it protects from pollution in general it's non-greasy non-oily lightweight it is dermatologically tested i am never able to pronounce that name properly dermatologically tested cons would be i see how this can look expensive 
comparatively other products so that could be a con i don't uh, mind all it. right guys so that's about it for today's product review video definitely go check out all the other products review i'll be mentioning in description box or probably check out the playlist that is somewhere showing on the screen go through my playlist and check if you already own any product that i have reviewed so you'll have better idea on how to use that product and to you know get maximum benefit from that product so make sure to do that and i will see you again see you bye wait do not forget to follow me on my instagram that's the place where i am continuously posting about my life about skincare about fashion about makeup so if that's something you are even remotely interested in maybe check it out bye